Okay. Hi. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is not our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. What am I saying? My glasses came in. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> that's why we're here. Okay. Oh. That's how we're doing, right? Yeah, we're just gonna check out glasses. Mm -hmm. These glasses are from I Buy Direct. I have got the magic scissors. I'm excited. Because now I can go buy my own glasses if I want to. <laughs> Gonna become addictive. I like these mm -hmm. wooden. They're good drawer dividers. Yeah. DPNs. I don't think they're long enough. Five inch DPN. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited too. So you guys never cheated? No. Well, no, they were still sealed in the box. I just had to use scissors to make them. The thing called the internet. Well, that's true. <gasps> oh, those are good ones. Those are good ones. Those are ah, awesome. I like them. Way to go, Jillian. If you can show me up. You have tortoise ones, don't you, Jillian? Yeah. Your round ones? Those, Those are, nice. are awesome. I like them. Good shape. I like them. Baby? I like them. Cool. All right, ready? Yeah. Another one? Yeah. It's a trick. I'm going to break box. it. Okay, this box doesn't matter. The inside box matters. They're different sizes, right? I thought they looked, yeah, they did. Mm. These are bigger. <laughs> it's important. <gasps> Those are awesome. The orange corner peeked out first. I was expecting them to be completely orange, but they are not. They're, They're rainbow. rainbow. Those are cool. Those are awesome. Yeah, I like them. You can wear Very those much. and I can wear my pink, my pink with the rose mirrored. Do you have some rose mirrored ones? Yep. And we would be the off. coolest cats in town. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> those are awesome. <laughs> the fact that we said coolest cats in town kind of makes negates not cool. the fact that we're cool. Those, I really love those. I like these. Oh, I have to wear them to go die now. That was the whole point opening one. That's, okay. that's how she convinced me to die and to film. Your cases are like cloths. Mm-hmm. You got ones like that? Yeah. I like the wooden cases better than the plastic. Okay, that's actually cardboard. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's cardboard. Where did that come from? What product makes that? Tree. What makes wood? Earth. What? What makes earth? What? What makes wood? What makes wood? Where'd you get wood from? The oh, forest. Get <laughs> the forest. How did I can't even plant this stuff? <laughs> the, the earth. The earth and the sky. <laughs> That's what it makes. No, oh, trees. <laughs> Okay, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Why do you do that every I don't know. time? I don't know. Hi. <laughs> I didn't yell this time. Welcome to episode 31 <laughs> of the Little Red Mitten podcast. I'm Carrie. I'm Jill Lynn. We are the owners of the Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. And, and the dyers behind Leo and Roxy Yarn Co. <laughs> um, so this was our whip parade. So you're gonna stay tuned till the end, right? You're gonna stay tuned till the end. <laughs> that was really clear. Yeah. Stay tuned to the end. We'll uh, 
play a little video of our whip parades. Yeah. And we'll show you what we've been working on this week. All right, that was boring. Okay. Hi. Um, I'm gonna cover up the microphone for a second. Why? Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know if the microwave microphone is that sensitive. Like that I just I just so they just heard you like whispering. Oh, okay. I just guess. covered it up, thinking that it might work. But I actually also want to ask you. If you could leave comments below, because I've had um, some people have commented about our sound quality. Mm. Other people say it's fine. Okay. So um, let us know if if you think we need to do something about that. Like maybe mic up. Mm. Um, the general consensus is on a loud mouth, and you're very low key. <laughs> oh, that's just personality, though. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I talk definitely talk. And quiet, I think people want to say, "Don't yell at me on TV." I know, I'm still quieter. Than I you. know. And I think <laughs> I think people want to hear like when we turn to each other and our little banter. Oh, I think okay. they want to hear that, but they don't hear it. The the mic isn't doesn't pick it up. So okay. um, we are mic'd. We're not using just <clears throat> the the iPad mic. So we do have an actual mic, but maybe we need little. Yeah, we discussed that before. Maybe yeah. We need to get those. So let us know what you think, if it's uh, <clears throat> something that we need to do, if it would improve the the quality of the podcast. Okay. Cool. 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 What did you cast I'm glad, on? I'm glad you're wearing that because mine's almost done. My love notes. I didn't knit it. Mine anyway. Mm -hmm. I think Noel knit. Did Noel knit this one? I think Noel. I think this so. One. Um. So yeah, I didn't cast on anything. Did you cast on anything? I did. Oh, okay, well then you go for it. Okay. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's this one. Cute. I hard to wait till we get Jess's bags back. Mm -hmm. I don't have my needle case in here. I wonder if she's done school yet. Hey Jess, are you done school yet? Are you done school? And Jess. Mm. Look at those dropped stitches. Yeah, that was a real pain on the second row. This is the Peep Show Pullover. Um, and it's Love done it. in slub, so it's in the Garado oh. colorway. The same colorway I used in my car bath held yep. with the Meredith. But, um, it's just a little t-shirt. Oh, insert yeah. the picture of the pattern, but it's a little t-shirt. Oh my slub. god, that's <laughs> so cute! Look at that. And the that's it. People's... Like that's it for the purple. And oh, then okay. It just goes into the. It just goes into the. The slub all the way down, so it's just this little row of cute. That's stitches. really sweet. I love it. So, yeah. And then it's all cute. trimmed out just with one row of. Yeah, you literally cast on in the purple. Yeah. And then go into the slub for the first row. Love it. Super cute. I love that slum. Mm -hmm. Knit all the slum. It took a while for us to figure out what we wanted to do with it. It was mm -hmm. different, different than what we were used to. But yeah, yeah, now I have a few things I want to do. Yeah. But it's true that, I don't know, you have your big stash of yarn and then you, you come across a pattern that, I don't know, it just kind of all comes together. Mm -hmm. You can't force it when you try to force it. Yeah. Then you just end up. That's what I feel like I did with that Deshane. That, you know, the 22 inch positive ease. Oh, yeah. And then I tried doing it in the Eco Plus and it, it I was forcing it. Mm -hmm. I was forcing it. So it's being frogged. Okay. So I am working on my love note. And it's coming along, coming along. So this is um, <clears throat> Antique Aubergine, uh, Leo and Roxy Basics, and Leo and Roxy Mohair Silk in Blackberry, Blackcurrant, 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 held together. Um, it wasn't one of the one of a kinds? It's no, it was actually Blackcurrant. Okay. Um, I really like it. I like the back shaping of this with those long short rows to lower the back because it is quite cropped. And uh, at this point, well, I still have to deal with the neckline. I'm not sure. I haven't really 
read about that. I feel really froggy. Me too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The weather's changing. It's yeah. Fall. It's turning into fall. And then I've got to undo this bind off because uh, it's too not tight. enough gift. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's fine. So my worst fear, I've never knit um, three quarter length sleeves because I've got this thing when you've got a three quarter length sleeve and then you put on a coat and it rides up and then you can't get your hand down to push it down. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do three quarter sleeve. Um, and then I bound off a little bit too tight. And I'm torn because that will actually make it stay, but I think oh, it's gonna make me- it. You could pop it too. That's true. I'm gonna take it out and then just do that stretchy bind off. And so. um, Do you have an unwound skein of the mohair in your bag? Unwound? No. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's one behind us here. Mm -hmm. I just wanna show how that, do you have an, what about the, uh, the basics? Aubergine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I just want to say, this is my, no. Second ball? That's my second ball. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, it's going to be one and a half like balls. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So people ask all the time, like, oh, if I'm going to hold something with it. And I just really liked looking at, you see all that tonal variegation mm -hmm. you have in there. The antique aubergine is completely solid. You would not get this variegation just working with it with that. And then this this mohair is just subtle. Like it's yeah. got some darker spots. That's what this the yeah. caked up one that like so just a few little and look at all the like Yeah, it's very subtle and it just adds some interest. That's but a think... great way to get like the hand dyed look. Yeah. With without, a flat with the with the a solid. A solid yeah. as your base. But I think people get really freaked out when they see mohair and they see these big blips. But yeah. You have to remember that that's over. That's a dozens, ton, dozens, dozens and dozens of strands. So like yeah. this is what it looks like wound up. Like that's going to be that little blip yeah. is going to be this. Same with the speckled mohairs. They look like big blotches, but yeah. really they're like one or two stitches. Um, and mohair takes the mohair and the silk. I guess it would be the silk. The silk takes the dye so hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So, I love it. Yeah. But I love how that. Very pleased with this. Quick knit, quite enjoyable. It's like size six needles, goes really fast. So I'm looking forward to wearing that. Yeah, and like I'm hardly gonna even touch this. There'll be tons left over mm -hmm. of that. I think mine in my size was like two skeins. And I didn't yeah. do, you did cropped, which they have two different lengths, I think, in the pattern, yeah. right? Yeah. So mine's a little longer, and I think it's only two two skeins in mm -hmm. my size. So, like, this is a really um, inexpensive sweater as far as, like, yeah. mohair raises up the price. But, yeah. Um, yeah, unlike some of the other sweaters held double where you need four or five skeins mm -hmm. per mohair and whatever, this is yeah. a good one to get a sweater out of. Yeah. Right. And I'll say it again, the basics, the price point on yeah, the basics, basics. That was our whole, our whole goal mm -hmm. was to get good quality yarn at a very affordable price. Yeah. So what else are you working on? What are you whipping? Nothing. Nothing. All my whips are in the whip parade at the end of the okay. show. Okay. Yeah, I held two back because I knew that I would need something to work on. Oh, is that why you cast on? Because you didn't have anything to... No, I've got two FOs. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so I've got okay. one one more whip. We've, we're going to revisit this again. Ooh, don't let me leave without... Classic gray. Classic gray. So this is my even fall, maybe. Uh, Andrea Mowry. It's one of these ways. I am super loving this after I ripped back and actually finished that whatever two inches <laughs> that I was supposed to. <laughs> that made all the difference in the world. Um, and it's super stretchy, so it kind of looks small still, but I think it's going to stretch out like crazy. Um, yep, so I'm just plugging along. It's just cropped too? Or um, it's going to be longer? No, I think nine inches before you start the hem. So it's it's yeah waist length. But this cracks me up because from red to red, 
is 18 rows. Oh, wow. And it takes me like a whole evening of knitting to do that one repeat. Um, it's... Well, it's thin well, it's yarn. A, it's a fingering weight sweater. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how you, you well, expect to get light more fingering than like, weight. So yeah, that's an inch and a half in a fingering weight. Yeah, yeah. So each repeat is an inch and a quarter, actually. Okay. Um, from there, from the bottom of the red to the bottom of the red. Okay. And uh, yeah, it takes me all evening, and so it's a little bit slow going, but it's very cool with the slip stitches. I like it. I could see making another one of these in very neutral. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is three quarter length sleeves as well. So I'm going to go for it. And I love this little Pico edge. That was kind of cool. It was just like yarn overs and then you fold it over. Mm -hmm. Which blew my mind, but I'm sure other people was like, yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's slow going, but it's, it's good. I like it. It's a relaxing knit. Once you get the yoke depth right. Is that all your whips? That's all my whips. That's all I was working on. I was spinning, but I forgot. I forgot it. I actually wet block. I wet blocked. Remember that yarn that I spun like my first my first go around on the spinning wheel? And mm -hmm. then when I spun it on your e-spinner, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't ply it enough, so it was quite loose. And there was like one strand, and then it was barbering around it. It was <clears throat> it was awful. And then Katrina came in and she said, well, wet block it and see and thwack it. Mm -hmm. and you should see it. I meant to bring it in. It's so cool. Like it's so squishy. And... Did you take pictures before so you can see the difference or no? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're just going to tell us about yeah. it? We're not yeah, going to yeah, actually yeah. like it, show. It made all the difference in the world. Oh, actually, I will send it. I did send a picture to Katrina. So I'll get her to insert it. Okay. Yeah. But I'm quite pleased with it. So you did take a picture. It's still on Not film. before and after, though. Before. I didn't take a picture before. Just after I oh. blocked it, wet blocked it, and thwacked it. Look what wet blocking does. I know. <laughs> this is my sock I finished back in February that has been on display, so it's been blocked and on a blocker. This is the sock I finished last night. Look at those. Yep. Look at all that. Wet blocking is important, folks. Yep. <laughs> See, makes a yeah. difference. Makes a difference. Very cool. These are so soft. So More basics. It's soft. all basics. Yeah. Look at all that. So anyway, this is where I was last time I showed the sock. So I finished down the foot and the toe. Nice. And these are finally done. They're lovely. And yeah. They're so soft. So finished. Soft. Yay. <gasps> finished. Yay. Even most most of the weaving in's done, except for all the color work stuff. Or, yeah. Just nice. a little bit. Yeah, that's impressive. So look at you. I love this sweater. Washed. It needs this needs to be blocked. Look yeah. at the curly. <laughs> look at it. Oh yeah. Just all curling in yeah. on each other. But amazing. I just I know I say this every time, but this blue, purple yeah. blue, it's just incredible. This is gonna be a cozy warm. Oh. Yeah, because I'm leaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, she's pointing out my darning needle. Yeah. But that's because it still needs ends woven. Very nice. Um, okay, I have a question. Uh-huh. When you're weaving in ends mm -hmm. with color work, where do you go with them? In the same color, usually. But if I go behind and do duplicate stitch, I can go on any color because you're not going to see it on the front. So you go behind all these floats to do duplicate stitch? Yeah. Okay. Because I found that too with this, because you're carrying the uh, the gray and the blue, but you're eeks. You need end stop. I, I know. Well, what I need is no, I don't have it in there. But you're carrying the red, or you're breaking the red. So I've got all these that I'm gonna have to sew in. But yeah, I just didn't. I guess it's easier when I want to start start doing that. Sewing those in. Yeah. My stripes sweater is never going to have them sewn in, man. There's so many. Yeah. So okay. Many ends. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, yeah. So I got one more thing that I'm calling an FO, but really it's a, uh, I was going to call it, uh, it wasn't really going to be a frog. Be one of Carrie's mentally frogs. <laughs> um, it's a category. 
And then I pulled it out because I'm like, I'm done. I'm never going to do it. So this is my scrappy blanket I started in 2009. And I realized it's squared off. It's rectangled off. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be all over the place, but it's not. I Whenever the last time I worked on it, I actually finished right across a row. So it's squared off. So it's a scarf and it's considered done. Nice. And, I don't know. Or it can go on the foot of my bed or it can... Well, I don't care. It's done. It's not one of my whips anymore. That's so. amazing. Out of the whips. My, it's my beautiful. My other scrappy blanket is still a whip, but this one so... is no longer. I'm never weaving in the ends, let's be honest. Okay. <laughs> well, what I was thinking is that could you not do like a crochet edge and just pick them all up and that would deal if, with those. If you're pretending they're all on the edge, yeah. Yeah. Some of them are woven in. Yeah. Like that one is and just needs to be cut. Like I'd, I'd have to just look through and mm -hmm. see if it's already secure, a bunch of them. So I'll probably take a few minutes and look at it. But if you make me do a crochet, I'm not doing a crochet. Edge. No. Um, then it's not finished. So no. Okay. No. I love it. That's no a fun crochet. scarf. That would be awesome with your so, jean jacket. That's like, oops, what's happening here? 13 years old. <laughs> 12 years old. Anyway, yeah. yeah. I was going to, so you'll see all our, the little video of our whips at the end. I was going, there was a couple others that I wanted to get rid of. Actually, one is, one's frogged is my mitered square, my mitered square blanket. It's frogged. And then, um. Is that the one that you're doing your hand spun? Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not spinning that much yarn. I'm not making it. No, it's done. And then, um, the one that, the double knit blanket that I, considered making a cat bed I was like I'm gonna be done with that yeah, yeah. and then I when I pulled it out for like to get ready for the video for the whip parade it was mm -hmm. like oh but really I just have to do a little bit more and it would be cute yeah. and what I said to Jillian I was like I was like I'll just finish it and give it to the cats as a cat bed and they all destroy it so basically I said oh I'll just put like you know 40 more hours into this and then give it to the cat for the cat to destroy yeah. anyway but so it's still in the whips. Okay. So I'm not 100% sure what number I'm at, but I'm going to... Yeah, I have no idea. I, when I collected them all, I I didn't I didn't count. Mm -hmm. Didn't feel too bad. Like I had that one orange bucket back there mm -hmm. with all the things that were destined to be frogged. Yeah, you had like tubes with one finished sock and stuff. Why are those in the frog thing? Because I'm not going to finish them. Well, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested in finishing them. Yeah. Aren't they for Mark? Wouldn't they just be Christmas presents? Well, like, are no, you just having, because... do you just have too many whips and you were trying to get rid of no, some? No, no, no. Those ones, the gray ones, I know the ones that you're talking about, they were gray, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they're a 64 inch. Um, 64 inches, that's a really no. big sock. No. 64 stitch sock. Mm -hmm. He can't get them on. Mm -hmm. So... Bye. Bye. And then I did get um, Jane to crank 72 stitch socks. So I do, they are there. They're in your whips. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's wearing new glasses. I'm wearing my new glasses. I feel like a 70s <laughs> star. <laughs> if I was male. I think you need to beep that word out or we'll get flagged. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yep. That's all I got. That's all I got too. Cool. Well, I do have, I'm going to give this way if somebody wants it. Oh, okay. So, uh, how do we want to give it away? So these were from when I made my kid a the mm. mitered square blanket. Yeah. This isn't counted in my whips. It ha I went and checked the list. So I have two squares yeah. that could be made into a pillow, but also there's all the cute, all the leftover bits. No, there's no white in here. So you just have to get a white if you wanted to do a little bit more. Is but this Aaron white or worsted? Worsted, yeah. Yeah. So very cool. Yeah, this was classic elite Liberty um, self-striping wool. Classic elite doesn't exist anymore. But uh, so there's a little like a bunch of cute scrap balls from like almost a full ball there. Yeah, a bunch of little bits. And I'm never gonna make this into a pillow. So I thought if somebody else likes finishing things and wants a little pillow, there you go. Um, so yeah, cute. That's cute. And it's 
it's out of my house so nice i guess if you're interested just um comment below comment below with the word mitered in it i guess and mitered yeah mitered, that's a hard mitered. one m-i-t-r-e-d yeah or is it m-i-t-e-r-e-d i don't know that would be part of the fun mm -hmm. you figure out how to spell it i wrote it on my book as e-r-e-d m-i-t-e-r-e-d but that does not mean it's correct that's okay. just how i wrote it down <laughs> <laughs> okay so i guess you can use either spelling <clears throat> and we'll just random randomly draw yeah uh we also have to draw for um the episode 30 gift card mm -hmm. so watch for that <laughs> <laughs> because we have to random generate that and we'll put it on the screen yeah. or down below and down below yeah um what else oh i've got an fo oh you, you failed it so this is my wild pose wild my posy you're looking at me i have no idea wild posy tea i don't know who it's by um cotton doesn't block very well <laughs> so there's that but i really well, like it we don't have an edge we i know that was how it was supposed to be bound off okay well it's gonna roll yep so it's split ham that rolls i'm not sure what to do there do you put like a little reinforcement thing in there or just leave it i'm just gonna leave it I'll just leave it i like it this is out of the remix worsted worsted yep i like it these little stitches were fun. And yeah. And by fun I mean they were kind of slow. But <laughs> slow going, but I like it. So that's my FO. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. We're back. Hello. We had to discuss amongst ourselves. <laughs> so um we have we have a big announcement. Yeah. It's exciting. <laughs> You say it. We're going to Vancouver. Yay! We're going to <laughs> Vancouver. So, um, Knit City. Knit City Mini. Mm -hmm. Um, we're not vending. No, we're not vending. It's a very condensed show this year. And we weren't. We were. We weren't prepared. <laughs> we weren't no. prepared to bring out all that yarn and stuff with us. Yeah, so. the logistics of that is. I think. I think we could figure out the logistics. We've got enough. Yeah. networking with shipping companies and stuff that we could probably do it but there's a lot involved mm -hmm. setting up a booth from across the country and whatnot so maybe next year well definitely for knit city montreal yes. in april april 2022 yeah <laughs> and two years canceled mm -hmm. hopefully not in counting um but we just we enjoyed going to knit city vancouver so much in 2019 that uh, we really want to get back out there. We're going to extend our visit a little bit longer um, so it won't be so rushed like it was. Um, we're going to go to Victoria this time and uh, visit Beehive. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be at the show both days. No, as that, long as we get tickets. As long as we get that being said, we still have to secure tickets. So um, it's going to be a very expensive vacation hanging out in Vancouver if we don't get tickets. <laughs> oh, but, well, we'll hang out yeah. outside. Yeah. We'll come. Hi, wa wa wave to you guys as you go in to buy your yarn. And yeah. But, um, but we're going to have giveaways. Yeah, we're going to have prizes and stuff with us. So as you know, we're both shy and awkward um yeah. so last time when we went there was we recognized designers and we recognized um dyers and we did not go up and say hi because no. we were and podcasters and yeah we didn't say hi to anybody no nobody remember when we saw we saw andrea mowry and she She's was like literally right 10 feet from us and yeah. we both looked at her and ran away <laughs> in the opposite direction. She wasn't looking at us. She didn't she wasn't. realize. No. It, wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, those people just ran away from me. <laughs> no. What is wrong with them? But yeah. yeah, it was like, so we should go say hi. No, we shouldn't. We should run. <laughs> <laughs> I 
first. Flight, flight or fight. <laughs> oh, boy. So... So we decided yeah. that we're going to put it in your hands. If you see us and you want to come say hi, um, please come say hi. Yeah. And if you come up and, and say... And you get a reward to you get come a reward. say hi. We're bribing people to come say hi yeah. to us. That's what we look like with masks on. See? Yeah. Because we'll all have masks on. Um, come up and tell us we look awkward as flock. And we will give you a prize. A good one. Yeah. Yeah. If you say... You, what is it? You look awkward as flock. <laughs> just, just tell us we yeah. look awkward as yeah. flock. Yeah, if you tell us mm -hmm. that we look awkward as flock, you get rewarded huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you we've can swear got, too if you want. You yeah. can change it if you want. If you want. <laughs> Good prize. Good prize. Yeah, we're excited. So there's that. Yay. Um, oh, we're renting a car this time. Yeah. Because... It yeah. was fun. We enjoyed it. We did. We did a lot of walking, and the transit system in Vancouver is exceptional. Yeah. But when we, we were there for such a short time, it was... We used a lot of time on transit. Yeah. It and, was good knitting time. Um, but, but with COVID and wanting to see a, few, a little bit more and mm -hmm. wanting to go to Victoria, um, yeah, we're getting a car. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I could totally see us doing it without if we don't plan on like leaving the city again doing it without a car again yeah yeah for sure and right. the last time like in 2019 our vital well neither of us had been va to vancouver and you see the map and it doesn't look that complicated but we stayed in north vancouver mm -hmm. and that like you have to take a boat people <laughs> <laughs> you have to take that well we came we, there's the highway too yeah. but <laughs> the way we were taking which we enjoy oh yeah it was we nice took, we took the sea bus yeah, and the, yeah, that was, it was wonderful. Great. It was very mm -hmm. relaxing, but this time we're staying in like downtown proper mm -hmm. and uh, very central, and so it's exciting. And my my brother and sister in law, mm -hmm. my brother in law and his wife, my sister in law, are going to be there the exact time, same time. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're kind of reversed from us a bit. They're going to be in Victoria for like. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then coming back to Vancouver. They offered to take us out for dinner on Thursday night. I didn't commit, obviously, because <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Yeah. But so, anyways, um, that was kind of exciting. Is that the new sister in law or? No. No. No, Larry and, Larry and Kathy. Her one brother in law just got married last weekend. Yeah. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Because it could no, be no. a little honeymoon thing, but. No. Yeah. No, no, no. No, she's a teacher, so she's like, uh, she's in school. Oops. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, Sorry to all the teachers out there. This mm -hmm. year must not be That's complicated. that great. It's complicated. So, yeah, we're so excited about that. Mm -hmm. And I saw that um, uh, Tracy and... Um, Jody oh, are going? Yeah, I saw Yay. that they are going, so that's fun. Oh, we should, we should reach out to them, because we saw yeah. them last time and we didn't say anything. No. They even recorded us for something and yeah. talked to us, and we... We're so Oh, we're so awkward. We're such introverts. Uh, and I'm pretty sure but that's now we've, why. Now we've worked together and yeah, have yeah, yeah, done yeah. a couple yeah. a couple things together. So now we can see them in person and yeah. actually talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> and from a psychological standpoint, mm -hmm. I think that's why I'm like especially awkward on this. Uh, and yeah, on here because I'm so awkward. I'm just awkward. You are awkward. <laughs> I'm we so both awkward. are. We yeah. both are very awkward. So you know, people come, people can, awesome customers. Oh, I wanted to go grab our, do you have your tin here? The flamingo one? No, no, it's in my briefcase. Um, oh. Yeah. I'll go grab mine. Yeah. And um, we didn't say that last time. I know. So I, I meant yeah. to bring it. I meant to say it today. Yeah. Um, there was something. So this incredible was customer and I think her daughter, they road tripped down here. You tell the story. I'll okay. They road tripped down here. It was like, I think they said that it took them four hours to get to us. Now they, they did like the road trip. So. They stopped at places, but about an hour and a half north east of us uh, is um, Stratford, and it's like a theater, very quaint uh, town um, with a theater, big theater life in it. Theater life, is that right? I don't know. Anyways, they stopped at Rayo Thompson. Rio Thompson? Is it Rio Thompson or Rayo? Rio Thompson. Rio Thompson, and they brought us little tins of uh chocolates and it was so incredible is that upside so down? down yeah yeah 
So Jolene got the lovebirds, and there then they brought zero me. zero chocolates left, but I think oh, yeah. oh, you know, I even threw out the wrappers. So yeah, goodness. same. And then mine has flamingos on it, of course. So that was so kind. So kind. That's so great. awkward. I did not ask her name. I thanked her many, many, many times. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, yeah, didn't know. Tried to look in the history of our the you sales for that day, and there was too many people in that time period, and... You'd just be guessing, yeah. I would just be guessing. So thank you again, and uh, that was lovely. Yeah, we've been having customers come in and be like, oh, I watch your podcast, and I'm just like, thanks. And people who are traveling. So, yeah. Like the ladies from Montreal. It's like, yeah. oh, what brought you to this neck of the woods? Oh, you guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's... Thank I'm you. so sorry. That's yeah, thank awesome. you. I should, you keep saying sorry. Our store is awesome. Our store is awesome. Our store is awesome. Yeah. We would travel for a store too. Definitely. So, which is funny because we think it's weird, but we would do it and yeah. we have done it. We have. Um, but. Like you yeah. totally, we, we plan trips with yarn yeah. shops along the way. There is a feature on Ravelry that does that. Yeah, speaking of which, the Wool and Silk Company, which we both stopped in this summer yeah. without realizing. Yeah. You had told me that you stopped at a store and whatever, yeah. but I don't think we got into detail about what mm -hmm. it was until I came back and I had stopped there. So yeah, we stopped yeah, at the, the Wool and Silk Company in Shelburne? Mm -hmm. In Shelburne, <clears throat> Ontario. So I don't know about two two and a half hours north of us north east yeah so um yeah it's a cute cute little store it is a cute little store and i tried to stay under the radar when I yeah that in. didn't it didn't work it didn't work out so I'm, just, I'm like oh i'll buy this ball and just finding little things yeah. and i had like about four balls of yarn and i was checking out and then um one of the ladies there was like, I'm a fan. And I was just like, oh, it's, I'm so shy. It was nice to talk to them. Once yeah. the ice is broken, it's nice. Yeah. It's that initial, like, I'm just shy. I know. And we would never just say. You wouldn't, I would never walk into the store and say, I'm here. You no, know, <laughs> I had a, a regular customer that I've known for 12 years since working in this store um, in yesterday buying something and she said I just realized Leo and Roxy was you guys and she was like she's been a customer of the Little Red Mitten for 12 really? years she's like I've made like two or three sweaters out of it and stuff and I'm like huh. I never say it I don't say it no like when we're like when people are looking for stuff it's like oh yeah you could use Leo and Roxy you could use this yeah we're, we're showing everything in the sock weight room and we don't really upsell leo and roxy no. over malabrigo or whatever it's like what color are you looking for i'm like we grab it in the yeah. best fit for them and stuff and i don't do it mary lou does like mary yeah. lou will say oh the girls dye this here and whatever we don't we don't that's do that. embarrassing that's yeah we don't do that no. so yeah this is me i'd be like so this is a good color. this is this is a good color this is leo and roxy but alegria has a very nice color too yeah, <laughs> yeah we yeah. don't we don't we don't we don't self promote very well. Um I was going to say something but I, oh yeah, so when I went to Woolen Silk, I was in full on vacation mode cuz we we're our vacation was kayaking. So I had like sport shorts on and a tank top and I had my hair in a wide headband, you know, mm -hmm. that, that's a great look. I had sunglasses on and a mask walked into this store and she recognized me but I think it was because I, of my tattoos I had to tell Carrie that though yeah. she's like I had a mask and sunglasses on not on purpose like she wasn't trying to hide but. <laughs> and I'm like Carrie you have knit and pearl on your knuckles like and yeah, you're wearing a true. tank top like yeah. <laughs> so that's what gave it away there yeah so funny yeah. so anyway so thank you very much to all of our viewers for mm -hmm. coming and visiting us and um and sharing the love. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. I That's think it. so. So remember to stay. Stay for the. Yeah. Stay. Whip. Our whip. Our whip parade will be at the end here. It should be cute. Yeah. So. I'm interested to here. know how many whips I actually have. Yeah. Me too. I'm going to actually go through um, and send some stuff off to Katrina so she doesn't have to watch us closely and stuff mm. so she can update our whip list. We do have an ongoing um, whip list on our Ravelry group 
um, the Little Red Mitten Ravelry group that Katrina keeps up to date after our episodes because we cannot keep track mm -hmm. of what we've got. Um, and I'm, I'm going to go through because I had a couple cast-ons that I didn't have project pages and stuff for. Mm, yeah. Um, like I just created the project page for this and they're done now. So, and it's been six months since I cast yeah. them on. So I'm going to update my Ravelry. But yeah, we have an ongoing, we have an ongoing list and it has the projects, um, the yarn used, all that kind of stuff. It has everything that we can't remember to say. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm wearing... Because again, the awkwardness. We're awkward. Yeah. And we have a really bad memory. How often are we working <laughs> oh, on it? Oh, yeah. We're working on projects. I'm like, I don't know the name of this no. pattern right now. <laughs> and I'm kidding. I don't know why we can't write it down before we sit down to record. No. But I got my love note sweater on. What are you wearing again? Mm -hmm. Wild posy by someone mm -hmm. it's a new pattern it was only released like you know what i feel like i this box okay so i put the ipad on a box but i feel yeah. like i put the box on its side and today i put it standing up so i feel like we're just floating heads well not you should but start, I, should we start again no um so this is wild posy tea it's a fairly new pattern i'm gonna say it came out a month ago cool. don't know who, by whom by whom by whom Oh, we didn't do what's new in store. Well, we got a big old whole starter. Huge, whole huge starter. whole starter. So big, all the boxes didn't couldn't fit in the fan, the courier. Yeah, fan. they came so twice. Came, yeah, um, there are still some colors missing, but um, yeah. But if you were looking or waiting for mm -hmm. some holes, you can go check that out. Graphic baby blankets? Did they come? I believe they're in those in the boxes, boxes that are still not yeah. open. <laughs> we're still working on that, but um, but but yeah. By the time this goes up inventory will be all updated and um yeah so you can go check that out i think that's really it that came in in the last two weeks other than maybe yeah. a couple yeah that was refills like knitting some knitting needles yeah and notions yeah um but just nothing new and exciting yet just refill yeah refill stuff um but yeah there'll be lots lots rolling in over the last, next month mm -hmm. or two our our one order from a supplier got kind of truncated so we got we got all the wool winders the ball winders but none of the umbrella swifts came in so yeah I, I was kind of preparing for christmas and um she's got she's got it um uh, there was an email carrie's been off this week yeah. there was an email and um i told her i'd let her know by today because i think there might be a couple things i want to add to it before okay I ship it out. yeah so it's ready so those will be coming so we will have swifts Ball winders, like more notions, notions, needles. Uh, that has our crochet hooks that didn't yeah. come. Our crochet hooks are low, so mm -hmm. but they'll be in in the next few weeks. Yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. good. Yeah, and things will be ramping up for September. We're expecting big order from Full Moon Fibers and from Jay Hendry for bags. And... I thought there was no bags coming yet. Well, stay yeah tuned. stay tuned no no <laughs> we will be getting bags it was just because jess was in school and so she wasn't sewing a lot so okay. yeah so everything would be was pushed for like six to eight weeks okay um yep that's it okay okay bye, bye.